Hi everybody on YouTube, this is Anastasia again. I hope you're having a good day. I know I am. So what I want to talk about today's topic is having posture and attitude. When you're out prospecting people in the network marketing um, business, you want to put your best foot forward and have great posture and good attitude. And there is a balance between, between the two. When I go out and prospect people, I put my best foot forward. I never second best myself. I put the first time and make a good impression on the first time. I like to talk to people and be real with them. And what I do is I just find out what their wants and needs are first. You see, even though you're in a business and you are in business for yourself but not by yourself, you got to treat this a little bit more, more, uh, I don't know how the words to describe it, but you got to put that customer first. That's what I mean. Put your customer ahead of your needs first. Because once you do that, then all the chips will follow. You know, what I do when I talk to people about my business is I make sure that I put their wants and needs first. I ask them based on um, one of the prospecting techniques called FORM, F-O-R-M, which stands for Family, Occupation, Recreation, and Money. One of the longest terms in, in, in the network marketing industry is uh, form, and it's been used a lot in MLM, it's been used a lot in network marketing and other businesses, as well as traditional business, because, you know, it's just utilized more in the network marketing business. So what I do is when I talk to people, I could be anywhere at any time, and I just use that in any order. I like to talk to people and be real with them and ask them, you know, especially strangers, you know, most of the people in my business are strangers, guaranteeing yes or no, they are all strangers, and some of them are warm market, meaning people that I already know, people who I've met in my lifetime, and who I follow up with to make sure that they stick around, and also people who are just strangers, and you know what, some of the strangers can be your best friends, and other strangers are just like, you know, you gotta say to them, listen, if this is not for you or you are against what I'm doing or you know what this can't fit into your lifestyle then you know good luck to you because you don't want to waste your time with people like that you want to make sure that you work with the people who want this now that is putting posture standing up looking right dressing nice okay when you come out there and you're out in the world looking for prospects for your business whether you want them to be customers or you want them to be in business builders Show them that you are a leader. If you are a network marketing, show them you're a leader. Don't go out there dressed up like sloppy joes and wearing sweatpants and baggy clothes and not looking nice. Because people see and read between the lines. They know if you're faking it till you make it or if you already are making it and are happy. A lot of people who ask me, um, are you rich? Are you rich? Are you been doing this business for a while? Are you rich already? I say I don't like to use that term rich. I like to say blessed or I say that I'm happily wealthy and that's what I tell them you know I don't like to use the term rich because rich is so indignified I mean like to say rich it's like being like a cachet or something when you talk to people you're like yeah I'm rich I make a lot of money no you're not rich don't make it look like that because then you look conceited <laughs> so basically I like to talk like this to people and let people know where I come from you know I'm a a small town girl coming from you know basically you know the the ghetto parts of Jersey and I didn't know that I was gonna make it in my business and I use my story to the T I tell people where I came from what I went through and how much I've overcame there's gonna be a lot of things in your life that you're gonna be going through and the small sacrifice whether it's spending time that of watching the boob tube or the television all day, watching Grey's Anatomy or watching your favorite TV shows. Hey, I understand. Hey, I'm a drama fanatic too. You know, I used to do drama before in high school and I loved it. And I love drama. I love watching TV. I watch shows. But you know what? I sacrifice my TV time. I don't know what's on the shows anymore on television because I'm always focused on building my business. And that's the attitude I put forward. When I do trainings with people on, uh, uh, I, I have something called dimdim.com which is a great website you guys gotta check that out dimdim.com I give them credit um, they have a very good webcast kind of a, a webcam network program software that you can automatically just sign on 
put your name, account, email, and you're in. It's free for 20 guests, and you can actually do trainings for free, and you can actually talk to people, do presentations, download PDFs, do PowerPoint. I mean, there's full of information there. Go to dimdim.com, check it out. You really got to see it. I give them a lot of credit. So also, um, there I go again. See, I talk right from the top, and then I end up losing it. Okay, so posture and attitude. Posture meaning that you want to look tall, believe in yourself, know that you can do it. When you talk to people, don't don't get scared. Because what's the worst that can happen? People say, no, I'm not interested. I don't think I can do that. Any other excuse that they come out of the blue thinking about, you have to look at them and to say, listen, I didn't think I could do it either, but let me tell you something. Once you take a look at what I do, then you decide. Give the customer freedom of choice. That's what we do in my company. We give the customer freedom of choice. Hey, they choose once they see our presentation if they want to get involved or if they don't want to get involved. This is not for everybody. And a lot of businesses out there think, it's, oh, you can do this, you can do that. This is our business. We're great. We're doing this. But not the average person can do it because it's not duplicatable. You ever heard the saying that if you if you duplicate the wrong thing, it's going to you have a domino effect? Well, that's what happens if you duplicate the wrong thing in your business based on the leadership that you were brought in you will duplicate the wrong thing and what happens is in your organization or downline or in your company they're going to follow the wrong thing and you just shown a wrong way of building the business and then what happens is everybody's complaining and honoring and worrying about the company and this don't blame the company blame yourself if you knew that you got involved in a business and you trusted that leader and that leader promised you and promised you and said they were going to do something and you believe so much in that leader but that leader didn't show any effort no posture no attitude no workmanship no effort nothing then something an alarm should go off and should tell you I better go find somebody else because this is not working out with this person that's what I had to do I had to leave years ago I got involved in this in, in another company and I left because that business was not for me at least I found a home with where I'm at with the wellness company I am happy with what I do and I am proud of what I do and I show it and people see my success and they see how happy I am and just automatically they come to me they just say hey Anastasia you look so happy today what are you doing I want to know I want to know hey here's my card let me have your number I'll talk to you and you know what I'll tell you all about it you don't necessarily have to tell everybody right then and there what it is you do only if they ask and if you're in between time frames like of doing something shopping or you're with your son or your daughter and you, you're doing something you don't have time to talk let them know hey I don't got time to talk with you dude but you know what I will talk to you maybe tomorrow or Thursday give me your number and I'll call you okay and get a confirmation that you're gonna call them and never ever let a prospect dwell within 72 hours within 24 to 40 hours you want to call that person up right away and follow up with them even if you don't want to conversate about the business but let them know that you will have time sometime another time to schedule an appointment that we will talk because it takes time to talk and explain about your particular business am I right so what you have to do is set up time to speak with that person about your business you can't do it over there on the phone in a matter of minutes it just doesn't happen that way if that was the case everybody be doing this that's why we take time we 